Hello, and welcome to the second installment in the vocabulary lesson series. I'm going to give you a brief quiz on the words of last times to see if you remember them, and if not, you may review them if you desire to. So, can you recall what the word lilt means? How about opalescent? Maybe panacea? Okay, how about serendipity? Or mellifluous? Maybe scintilla? Yes, no, maybe. How about gamble? That's a B O L, not B L E. Halcyon? Insouciant? Lanyap. Surely you remember the word Catholicon. If not that one, then Eurythmic? Effervescent? Come on, come on, okay. Balsamasius. That one. Okay, okay, gotcha. Alright, now that those are out of the way, Let's get going with some new words. We have 15 more from my list here for your listening and pondering pleasure. First, let's warm up your brain by massaging your ears. Because that's how it works, right? first word on our list is macaronic. It means composed of a mixture of languages. If you wanted to spell it correctly, you would spell second word on the list is mensch. This one is spelled very tricky. Mensch. How do you think it's spelled? There's a sneaky hidden letter. A sneaky S. Mensch is spelled M E N S. And mensch means a decent, upright, mature, and responsible person. Have you ever met a mensch? One of those people that won't do anything if it's not in the rule book. What do you think of those people? Are you one of them? The next word is palladium. P A L L A D I U M. Palladium. Feels like I'm in a spelling bee. A palladium is anything that's believed to provide protection or safety.
next word is elide. I particularly like this word. Kind of, I like, I like its related form of elision. Elide is like the verb form. And to elide, to elide, is to, to omit, to ignore, to pass over, or suppress. And I particularly like this word because it's something that has a very juvenile sense to it. When you hear a child who can't quite say a word correctly, like, I want to go on an adventure, they're el eliding, eliding, I always want to say E, they are eliding the D sound in the word adventure. And that's just one example. I'm sure there's infinite more. But I think that that's a fun way to sound more juvenile and more childlike. There's a few words that I, in particular, do. I still do that with because I just like the, the cuteness that it offers, <laughs> so to speak. I, for example, the word... Um, I guess you could say it however you want, but mom or mama, when I address her, my own mother, I always call her ama, and I elide that first M, and that just kind of how it evolved, and it's still that way. I still call her ama, and it's fun. The next word sounds very old-fashioned. It is erstwhile. Erstwhile. It means former or of times past. It's instead of meanwhile, if you said meanwhile, that could mean something that's going on at the same time, something simultaneous. But erstwhile is something from former times that has already happened, so to speak. It's kind of a funny idea, though. You know how in cartoons or TV shows, it'll say, meanwhile, and then it'll show something that's going on somewhere. I imagine someone the narrator voice saying erstwhile in the same fashion and <laughs> showing something that happened previously and that's kind of funny. That's an amusing idea. All that stuff going on outside. The next word is, I guess I should spell erstwhile. Off the right line, awry or wrong. Something is amiss. Something is ugly. Something is just plain wrong. That's pretty simple, right? How about demure? Demure. And demure means someone, I guess it doesn't have to be a person, it just means shy and reserved. So if you are demure, you hide away from things. Sometimes in not a pitiable fashion, what's the word I'm looking for? Coy, maybe? 
don't know, I think things that are demure are usually things that you feel a fondness towards, just because I think I think I'm confusing it with the definition of another word. In my head, I'm thinking affectedly reserved, but I'm not quite sure that demure has those same connotations. What word am I thinking of? Am I not thinking of, rather? Lissom is lithe, supple, flexible, agile, nimble, or active. There's lots of motion in that word, isn't there? And you lissom, or are you sedentary more often than not? Or maybe we just go through phases of both. Here is an interesting word, moiety, moiety, I think that was how you said it, I, I'm like 80% sure, moiety, how else would it be, I don't think it was Marty, <laughs> sounds like someone saying Marty with a heavy accent. Moiety is a half or an indefinite share or portion. Basically, it's just a part of something. It's pretty simple, right? If you wanted to spell that, you would spell it M O I E T Y. <laughs> about agnomen. Agnomen. A-G-N-O-M-E-N. -E and that, my friends, is a nickname. Do you have any agnomens? Are they good ones? the word pother p o t h e r pother pother is a commotion or an uproar a heated discussion Approbate something is to approve something officially. To give it your little stamp of approval. And that basically all oh, is pretty simple. One. Probably don't need to go into any more detail. How about? If 
future.